Hello, I'm Anna, I volunteer from Project Florence. I'm here now with Phil Harding from Wessex Archaeology. Phil, I hear you're a flint expert, so what's interesting about the flints on this site? Well really, this is probably the sort of type of material that we're going to get most of from this excavation. Um, we'll probably expect to get some bits of pottery, uh, and obviously we get some Saxon burials. But most of the recognisable material is going to be flints. And we've got to remember that for most of the time that this barrow was in use, they were, although they were probably into the Bronze Age, most of what they were doing on making tools on a daily basis was made out of flint. Now, this is wonderful stuff. This is the stuff, flint, it comes from the chalk. And the beauty of it is that what you can do is you can strike bits off of it and what you can generate are lovely, sharp cutting edges. Now these are the most perfect knives that you can have. That's the value of the material and that's why we find so much of it. People use so much of it for such a long period of time. So do you know how, just how old these flints are? Well I've done some uh, work on this monument before when they did a previous excavation here and what the flints tell us is that people were actually here before the barrow was, was constructed. The, the crucially important part of this monument, from my point of view, is the old ground surface, the land surface underneath the barrow. Now that land surface was there and it was sealed when they put the, put the barrow up, the mound up. And any flints in there have to be as early or earlier than the date that they made the barrow. And some of the earliest flints we have here tell us that activity, people were living on this site, working on this site, way back into the Neolithic people. Maybe 1,000, 2,000 years before the barrow was ever put up. So what do you think of the barrow clump and what experience do you have of archaeology and the Salisbury Plains? Oh, I love this area, I really do. I mean, I've spent all my life living in this area. I've grown grown used to the idea of being having barrows around on the site um, and this particular monument I've, I've visited it many times I was part of a big survey that covered the entire Salisbury Plain training area the area that the military owned and the area that they look after and my job was to go around looking at every individual monument every particularly barrows and seeing what sort of condition uh, they were in so that we could advise the military on whether or not the, the monument was stable whether it was improving or more importantly whether it needed any form of management to look after it now this barrow obviously has been particularly important because of the amount of damage that's gone on over the years particularly with badgers and so this is a, a monument that I've grown very very familiar with and I've watched it over the years and of course I've been able to monitor just how much damage the badgers have done so it's a it's a I guess it's an old friend. I've grown used to it. I love it to bits. I'm sorry that it's got um, so badly mutilated now, but I feel privileged to be part of the, one of the team that's going to be here to try and tell its story. Okay, thank you for your time.